my phone started draining the battery like crazy right after I updated to iOS 12. I should have uploaded that video, but I didn't. I didn't think a lot of people were having the same issue that I was having. Right after I seen the video that Lou has uploaded regarding ChargeGate, if you guys haven't watched that already, I'll link it down below. But as soon as I watched that video, I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'm not the only one with my problem. I started doing some research. Many people were seeing worsening battery in their iPhones. So the issue wasn't just to newer models, but even to previous models that updated to iOS 12. What boggles me is I was like, no way is Apple going to do the similar mistake that has done in the past. Not long ago, dozens of lawsuits were opened against Apple purposely slowing down older devices so that people can upgrade their phones. Apple came out, apologized, said we were not trying to do that. They were only trying to fix a problem that was already being caused by the life of the batteries. Others have mentioned that the iPhone devices might have batteries being drained because of a new feature that's on iOS 12 called screen time. They're saying that maybe this is one of the causes that drains the battery. As one Reddit user posted, he stated that he attempted turning off things that were new in iOS 12 that could have been the culprit. And one of those things that he turned off was screen time. And when doing that, instead of finishing his day with 30% battery life still left on his phone, he's now finishing with 80%. That's a huge difference. As you guys will see in my video, the only reason I decided to go to iOS 12 is because of screen time. That was the best feature in my eyes that made me push to update to iOS 12. So a little bit about my phone. This is an iPhone 6S that I updated to iOS 12. All right guys, so this is what happened. iOS 12 just got released a couple days ago. I went ahead and I updated it, and now I regret it. Let me tell you guys why. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my screen. You'll see it right here. Now it's at 4% and it's 9.30. See, it's still 9.30 and it's already at 3%. It's still 9.30 and it's already at 2%. Now 9.31 and it's already at 1%. I would not be surprised if the phone dies. Do not update to iOS 12. Now don't get me wrong, I do like some features that were updated on the iOS 12. For example, now, instead of having many notifications on your screen, they'll combine them all to one spot. So if you have a lot of messages from one person that you don't wanna see filling up your screen, you'll have just one part of it, as you can see right here. Another cool thing is that it actually shows you how much time you've used on the phone. If you've been using a lot on YouTube, if you've been using a lot on Facebook, etc., it'll tell you how much you've been using, that way you can cut off time wasted into more useful things. All right, there you guys have it. I mean, at the end of the day, my conclusion is that it could be many reasons this is happening. Maybe you actually do have a bad battery. These are just chemicals and they have a certain lifespan. And the more you use your phone, the more they degrade and expire over time. So let's give them a benefit of the doubt and say that's possible. But why would it happen right after you update to iOS 12? Now, some people could, could say, well, when you update to iOS 12, there's a lot of reorganizations of the files inside the iPhone and it might take some time for them to completely reorganize and this will affect the usage of your battery how fast your phone battery drains for the first couple of days another thing could be that when you have a new update most likely a lot of apps will update as well and probably you have automatic updates enabled on your phone this could be one of the reasons your phone is being drained and last but not least maybe with the new update you're starting to use more features that were provided with that update. And without you realizing it, in turn for you using that phone, more perhaps, you're now draining your battery life faster than you would have prior to updating. At the end of the day, why is this happening only when Apple comes out with a new set of Apple devices? Is it possible that they really wanna make you upgrade to the new devices? Could possibly be. I wanna hear, what do you guys think? What could be really going on? I know there's gonna be a lot of people saying, just go to Android and this and that. Other than that, I get it. I see where you're saying, whenever you see a chance, you'll go off on the iSheep. Whenever you see a chance that Android is doing something wrong, Apple fans will probably do the same. We're not here to do that. I wanna see what you guys think is really going on. 
And please, if you don't mind, help me share this to reach either somebody at Apple or if we can at least send this to Lou and see what his opinion about this. If you're having a similar issue to this, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified when I upload more videos. See you guys in the next one.